62 years. I don't look quite that old, do I? Uh, what happened was uh, my father, after World War II, moved out to California. And after shoveling six feet of snow in Chicago, he stayed out here because he liked the weather. And he brought his family out here and they opened up a little place in Hollywood, which is 1949 now. And uh, they brought the first pizza to Hollywood. People didn't even know what pizza was. They didn't even know how to say pizzeria. Pizzeria, they used to say. So uh, anyway, um, one thing led to another. My father with his two brothers and his two sisters, they ran that place. Before you know it, uh, they had a line out the door. Uh, movie stars were coming in. We taught um, Lucille Ball how to flip a pizza for one of her episodes. You know, pizza lands on her head. So it's, um, there's so much history. The Beatles were there in 1965. And uh, Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Burton, John F. Kennedy was there. Uh, Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio. It's like, it, does, it just doesn't end. Back in 1949, when, they, when the restaurant started, it was a real family operation, my father's brothers and sisters. Now, today, same thing. We help, we're keeping up that family tradition. My brother Frank and I, we run the restaurants. Uh, my brother Frank is a real bona fide chef. He went to the California Culinary Academy. And uh, so when it comes to food, I refer to Frank. He's the expert. And uh, he also carries on all the old family recipes as well. He's got all those in his head. I won't write them down for me, though. Someday, anyway. Well, people walk in here and they say, oh, this is the Michellis with all the singers. But it didn't originate here. When I was a kid, well, we actually sing at both restaurants, but a little more here. They do a little more jazz at the Hollywood restaurant as well as the singing waiters. But in Hollywood, um, years ago, all the waiters at our restaurant, they're all Italian. And back then, all the big singers were Italian. Uh, you know, Jerry Vale, Mario Lanz, Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, you name it. All, and all the waiters were Italian, and they all wanted to be the next big singer in Hollywood. So they used to just sing along with the jukebox. And one thing led to another, and the waiters were singing more and more, and people were requesting the waiters to sing. And they'd put a quarter in the jukebox, and they'd sing along with Dean Martin. And, uh, so that's pretty much how it started, but we had a dishwasher that actually sang as well. He came out of the dishwasher department and he sang some song, uh, A Tisket, A Tasket, It's a Yellow, A Basket. You know, he was an Italian guy, right from, right from Sicily. So um, it was um, a little different then, but uh, it was, you know, uh, it was old Hollywood and, uh, you know, all Italian waiters that thought they could sing. So we opened 1980 and had the piano there and uh, I wanted to bring back that old Michelli's and more of it. So eventually we put the piano in the center there and it became like a focal point. And uh, I hired Jeff Urban, our piano player, in 1980 and still here, still here. And he has played for some of the best singers in Los Angeles that there were waiters and they passed through this restaurant. Uh, there's, just for starters, Roberta Wall, uh, who just left here about two months ago and she's starring on Broadway in Sister Act, which is um, Whoopi Goldberg's show. And uh, then there's Graham Fenton, who traveled all over the world doing Jersey Boys. They, we have real professionals that are like right off Broadway or will soon be on Broadway. To this day, we've got some of the best singers in Los Angeles, the people that have just passed through here on the way to Broadway, and the tradition just kind of carries on. And there's people that work here right now that, and if, if not tomorrow, very soon, they'll probably be on Broadway as well. There's just, we've got everything, the opera, we've got uh, Disney music, we, you know, stuff for the kids. We've got stuff for grandma, stuff from the 40s and 50s, you know. We get so many people coming in for the birthdays, celebrating their birthdays, and we've got nine different birthday songs we do. I mean, some birthdays will make you cry, some will make you laugh, some will make you get under the table and hide, you know. People, they have so many memories and families have come in for generation after generation. There's one family that comes in. Four generations come in at the same time. They just celebrated grandma, great grandma's 95th birthday. We've got a little table for two that is on our Valentine table. Uh, it's up above on a little balcony, looks down on the whole restaurant. And it's, uh, we've had people get engaged up there, and of course, birthdays galore up there. And it's always so much fun. They get a good view of the whole restaurant. It's kind of a package deal. They start off with a bottle of wine. They all get a bottle of wine or champagne with their dinner. And there's just a lot of wonderful memories. People come back year after year on their anniversaries. They want to sit up there, you know, and kind of relive their anniversary again. Or they, uh, their proposal, their proposal. Uh, anyway, it's just, it's uh, very unique. So as, as I think about it, there's been millions of people walking in these doors, not just from Los Angeles, but from around the world, around the world, the tourists that go to the hotels around here and see our beautiful city. And I'd like to think that you know, we're part of that old Los Angeles tradition and 
Uh, and hopefully this place will never change in people's eyes. And if they came in here 40 years ago or came in today, they'll see the, feel the same Macellis that they remember from back when.